in this module we will see how the experiments of geneticists uh, of Morgan allowed geneticists to make chromosomal maps that is basically relative positions of genes along the length of a chromosome I have shown you the slide before too now we are going to focus on a different aspect of this uh, this experiment here you can see we have 206 and 185 recombinant phenotypes so what is the factor that determines the frequency of recombinant phenotypes so if we wanted to calculate what is the uh, the frequency it is a simple formula let's look at that we basically add the number of recombinants and divide it by the total number of offsprings and that gives us recombination frequency recombination frequency we can have units for recombination frequency we can convert this frequency into map units and recombinant frequency of 0 0.01 equals 1 centimorgan so if we do experiments and we see the recombination frequency of different genes along the length of chromosome we can assign them relative positions in this example we have y you can see the y is the body color right here white eye is w vermilion eye is v miniature wings is m and rudimentary wings is r so during meiosis these tetrads these homologous chromosomes when they come together they form these tetrads how frequently are these genes exchanged between these two homologous chromosomes the further apart two loci or the locations of these genes combinant frequencies will be greater so basically if the distance between the two genes increases so does the probability of recombination between these two locations so using this information scientists were able to make genetic maps which were basically relative positions of genes on a chromosome now let's take a hypothetical example we have an organism with a b and c genes we cross this organism and determine the frequency the recombinant frequencies first of all we look at the recombinant frequencies between a and b genes here we have the data so during this cross we got 450 a capital a small a capital b small b and 450 small a small a small b small b these are the parental phenotypes the recombinant phenotypes are 50 capital A small a small b small b and 50 also of small a small b and capital B small b these are the recombinant phenotypes so the frequency the way we will calculate their frequency is as I have mentioned we will add the recombinant phenotypes which is 50 plus 50 and divided by the total number of offsprings which is 450 plus 450 plus 50 plus 50 the number equals 1000 so the recombinant frequency is 0.1 as we have already established that centimorgan one centimorgan is 0 0.01 this is how you convert combination frequencies into centimorgans so we can conveniently place two the a and b genes along a chromosome and the distance between them is 10 centimorgans next we do an experiment now we are looking at recombination frequencies between a and c so here's the cross these are the parents we do this cross and we get the following data we have an, we have, have 460 capital a small a capital c small c and also the other parent type 460 small a small a small c small c here we get 40 recombinants of capital A small a small c small c and 40 recombinants small a small a capital C small c again we use our previous exercise and calculate the recombinant frequencies 
here is the algebra so we come up with the number 0.08 this number converts to translates to 8 centimorgan so we have now established the distance between a and c and a and b what we don't know is the distance between c and b as you can see we can have different arrangements you can see it on your screen in this region we can have a b and c or a c b or b a c so we need to do one more experiment in which we will have to figure out distance between the c and b to complete our genetic map in this case so let's do that experiment so how far are b and c genes we do the same cross same similar type of cross we have done previously now our recombination frequency is uh, the number of recombinants is 10 for capital b small b small c and 10 also for small b small b capital c small c we calculate we convert this number into frequency it is 0 0.02 or 2 centimorgans now with this information we can we know the precise position precise relative position of these three genes a and b are 10 centimorgans apart and a and c are 8 centimorgans apart and c and b are 2 centimeter apart this is how geneticists were able to make genetic genetic maps for different organisms and this information was very useful in uh, it had practical applications also you could predict what what is the what would be the combination frequency between for example two genes present on the same chromosome next we will talk about uh, the genetic information that we have learned we will also talk about how this applies to humans in the next module